All right, so let's talk about this little guy, Ma Wile, right? So you look at the stats over here, and it's not, not crazy impressive. But we're not here for that. We're here because if you give this guy just the right rock to hold... Um, am I doing this right? Yeah, there it is. If you give this guy just the right rock to hold... Oh, come on, I know it's... There we are. Look at this, okay? This is obscene. This is literally unheard of. Now, you might be thinking, oh, this is, this is all right defensively. And he goes, oh, all right. But it doesn't really stick out anywhere. Uh, this, huge power. The attack is totally doubled. So we're going to cap out at like 309. A um, little bit more than that if we're feeling anxious. Uh, minus special attack, I guess. And this gets to literally 600 and 78, which is higher than anything ever. This is literally the king. Nothing gets better. The only problem is the speed. So, to get around that, uh, we're going to build a Trick Room team. This thing is an Ubers type. Uh, it's so good that it literally got banned all the way to Ubers, even though this thing is, uh, is what is it? It's never used. It's in the never used tier. But we're going to make it work, and we're going to make it work in Trick Room. So... Like all good Trick Room folks, uh, negative speed nature with zero EVs. That way nothing ever ever outslows is, I guess, the word. And plus attack is nice, but you do want some some of this, and I'll get into why a little bit later. But uh, lots of attack, lots of this, very, very precise. And mine is named Flamenco. Uh, that's just what it does. Flamenco is the Trick Room a while. Mm, this is enough to scare anything. All right, so it's a very fortunate typing in Steel Fairy. Uh, it's the only fairy, ty fairy type that's not weak to poison or steel, so we got that going for it. We just need to worry about um, ground and fire, I think it is. Uh, Iron Head is great in Hit Trick Room because 30% chance to flinch, plus 80, times 1.5 because I'm a steel pack, times all this attack stack, times 2 after huge power boosts. It's... Very few things live this, is what I'm, what I'm getting at. Very few things live that. Um, Sucker Punch is a super important one. Usually goes first. Even when Trick Room's not up, I can uh, I can terrorize with this. Now, hmm, I could run this move, which is handy, uh, but not just yet. What I could do instead is... That's not it. This one, Swords Dance. You know, since we already have the highest attack stat in the game, might as well times that by two anytime we get the chance. Um, from here, we could baton pass, we could substitute, we could, um, iron defense, and, hmm, we'll think about that later. Well, we'll leave that open and we'll come back to it. You need to be holding the mawile ite, though, so that... These stats get turned into these stats. This is also double nice because we have Intimidate. We switch in. Uh, something gets lowered attack. We take the hit nicely. This defense isn't terrible. But we need to come up with the fact that we are playing Ubers. And Ubers is literally the scariest tier. Well, okay, the second scariest tier. I mean, look at all these things. Look at look at all these stats. How does anyone compete with, with all this stuff? Híjole. It's just way too much. Um, we're going to pick this guy, because this guy, I know, gets the move I want, which is Trick Room. The one, the one reason why this guy doesn't see too much play, even in Ubers, is because the speed is just terrible. I mean, this thing is considered slow, and it's a 100 speed. Uh, but Trick Room, what it does, is for five turns, slower things move first. Meaning that almost, literally everything else in this tier... I'll outslow it, meaning that I go first, meaning that it probably dies, which is which is a happy thing for me. Uh, this guy is super, super strong in his own right, though. I'm going to give him some leftovers. Uh, that's special attack. That's just not even fair. This is a cool typing, too, in Dragon Water, meaning that I'm not weak to either of the things water's weak to. That is uh, ice and grass, I think. And I'm not weak to ice, either. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm not weak to ice, not weak to thunder, not weak to grass. Those are those are things that usually bug these two types separately, but together it covers pretty nicely. So we're gonna go with a big old 
Um, same type attack bonus surf. That's a lot of power. It hurts a lot. Um, do you get any dragon moves that aren't Draco Meteor, but are better than Dragon Pulse? I think you do. And I think that uh, Dragon Claw needs to be special, though. Here we are. Spatial Ren. There we go. That's the that's the big one. And we have room for one more move. Let's think. What's in this tier? Um, uh, Kyogre would hurt. Dragon types here. Um, I guess I can't do much to grout on. Spatial Ren hurts it anyway. Um, what's nice neutral coverage with the two of these? We'll come back to that one later too, I guess. I want you to live a hit, which is important, so I'm going to give you crazy amounts of spadef, and you're going to get all that spatak too, because once you set up the trick room, you're just going to you're just going to blow holes through people. Is what your job's going to be. Of course, minus speed nature to make sure I outslow things. Um what's more important? I think living a hit is more important. Well, I can't live a hit from a Xerneas or something like that anyway, so maybe I'll just do that. Um, four in here, randomly. Okay, so this is pretty good. This is an okay duo. Um, now we gotta think about what we're gonna pair this up with. The problem, in this tier especially, is this thing right here. What it does is it power herbs and geomancies. Uh, I could use one, I guess, but after one turn, it's times two speed, time two special defense, and times two special attack. So I need to, need to, need to either have Trick Room up all the time or get something that can live it. So we'll think about that. Mm. Interesting. Okay. Uh, not important now, though. Oh, another Trick Roomer, though, would be nice. You don't get Trick Room, do you? You get... Not Trick Room. Okay. Does... Does your brother get Trick Room? I bet you. Hmm. Yeah. Do you get Trick Room? Oops. You do get Trick Room. Ooh, that's good. Oh, you know what would be even better? Is uh, Luigi, uh, you're a psychic type. You get Trick Room, right? No, you don't. Okay, that's fine. This will do fine. Uh, this is okay, because it's a steel type and can maybe take a hit from that uh, from that goat thing we just looked at. It resists the move that obliterates everything else. Mm, let's see. We could make you defensive. Oh, but your special attack's also great. All right, here's what we're going to do with you. We're going to give you Roar, just in case something wants to set up. We're going to give you uh, Draco this, so... You can... I guess we'll go with this. And then, what else? What else? What else? What else? Earthquake, in case we're not on a ground on? We're not living a ground on, anyway. Um, more iron steel coverage? Ah. We'll come back to that later, I guess. But what I do know is that I want you to be physically defensive. Because there's, there's not a lot of that here. Maybe, maybe even all the way physically defensive. There aren't a lot of those. And minus speed, of course... The nice thing about running minus speed is you can have mixed attackers without sacrificing one of your defense. Because normally I would need to put that in here, or in here, but I like it. Trick Room's going to open up options. Nobody uses Uber's Trick Room, and I'm not sure why, because there are very few guys in this tier. And they're all very, very predictable. So, <laughs> Trick Room throws people for a loop. And um, next, we want to have... Stats are just too good. We'll take one. We'll take one of these. Sure. You don't get Trick Room, do you? Oh, you do. Even better. Oh, this is great. Okay. Um. Let's see. You're a special attacker, and you're a special attacker. So we'll make you physical with the Swords Dance. Right. You, of course, are going to be slow. And... Um, maybe this. And you know what? I'm thinking even if Trick Room's not up, because it probably won't always be up, and people move according to speed like normal, I'd like extreme speed. 
That way I can usually go before everything else anyway. Regardless. Swords Dance Extreme Speed? Oh, it's gonna it's gonna ruin people's day. And that way I could run recover too. Oops. Recover. There we are. <laughs> I gotta remember to nickname all these guys. There we go. Alright, Trick Room, Swords Dance, Extreme Speed, Recover. Mm, that's that's good. The way a lot of people deal with this is either they paralyze it, which I won't care about, or they burn it, which means I don't do any damage here. So maybe I'll give you a Lumberry. Cures itself from any major status condition, which is great, because there's this thing up here called Dark Cry. And this guy has this move called Dark Void. And this just puts people to sleep. A lot of people leave with it straight off. And so I need someone that can absorb sleep pretty handily. And I'm just now realizing that if I do do this, I can't hit ghosts. Because they're immune to extreme speed. And steel types and rock types will resist. So I think maybe I'll forego this in favor of a ghost move of my own. Ooh, that's cool. That's not as cool. Yeah, we'll do this instead. All right, that's that's pretty good. Hmm. I would like something else to absorb status. Um, there are things like Klefki up here, which do spikes, and they're Prankster, and they Thunder Wave, and it's terrible. There are things up here like uh, Pulpetta. I'll, oh, that's not its real name. Like Fortress. These things sticky, or don't stick the web, they stealth rock, and they toxic spike, and they just ruin ruin people's day. You'll find the rare shuckle. And even on an Ubers team, there'll be like one non-Ubers guy just here to do status moves and things. So, I don't know how I want to deal with that. I could deal with that by, um... Hmm. I have an idea. There we go. This this is the answer to literally all of my problems. Magic Bounce. Uh, bounces certain status moves and bounces them back. Someone leads with a dark cry. They dark void. I bounce it back and suddenly they're asleep. Someone tries a thunder wave or burn or whatever and it happens to them. They try and set up hazards. I bounce them straight back. This is great. Unfortunately, you don't really do much in this tier because you don't live hits <laughs> the way some of these guys do. Yeah, those numbers just aren't aren't what they need to be. So, um, we're going to go ahead and do this. This will give you uh, the ability to live one hit, no matter what. And then we can do a number of things. You get Trick Room, don't you? Yeah, look at that. Okay, great. That, um, what else would be nice? Do you have any other function rather than Magic Bounce? Well... Okay, I suppose you can put up the screens. Light screen, there we go. Oops. And then you can just U-turn straight out of there once you've had your fun. Yeah, I think I think this will work out. <gasps> what about taunt? Oh, that'd be so much better. Do you get taunt? You don't get taunt. Do you get whirlwind? You don't get whirlwind. My, my fear is that someone will just see this as not a threat, which is right, and then they'll just start boosting themselves with swords dances or dragon dances or geomancies and I just can't have that so I gotta figure out um I could defog that's not what I need to do you don't get clear smog do you get haze Ooh, that's cool that's great with a focus sash too because then if something's on a rampage I could just come in and haze it and then that's the end of it that's not bad alright I like it I like it this is a uh, fast support though so there's... Oh, actually, do I want you being fast under a trick room? Hmm. Tough to say. I'll make you slow for now. And instead, I will put all these points... Oh, it's so nice not worrying about speed, because I could just put all these points somewhere else. In... Um, special defense, I, I guess. Eight more in here. And then, uh, that'll do what I need it to, I think. Okay, so the last thing is, um, what else is big in this tier? This guy is a huge problem. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. 
Look at this thing's attack stat. It's not quite as big as this, because 85 times 2 is still, or actually, 281 times 2 is still bigger than whatever the heck this guy reaches. Uh, but it's a problem because you can't hit it with water attacks, which is like the only thing it's weak to. Except ground, I guess. So, we gotta find something that can deal with this. These things are crazy unpredictable. You could, um, give it a rock polish and it's super fast, which wouldn't be a problem. You can give it a swords dance and it's super powerful, which is a problem. This guy definitely does not live a hit from this. And the sun's up, it could start fire punching, and, ugh, I don't have anything that's like a fire punch. Shoot, I didn't think this through. Alright, I need something that can stand up to this guy. Hmm. Um, what'll stand up to you? What stands up to fire moves and ground moves and can hit you with a strong ground attack of their own? That's my question. Uh, I'd like to keep it up here. Hey, this might do what I need it to. With all that special attack. That's a little fast for me, though. Hmm. Maybe. It's immune to Earthquake, which is nice, but it doesn't... Uh, what am I going to do? <gasps> oh, I know. Okay. Okay. Here we are. Here we are. We're going to get your brother. That's what we're going to do. Take that. <laughs> this is the opposite of that guy. That guy is the continent one. This one's the ocean one. And if you give it a blue orb, I think is the item, it turns into a crazy beast that has uh, drizzle. Make, getting rid of the sun and putting up rain. I think that's how it works. Yeah, and that way I could hit it with water moves, no problem. Make you nice and slow, because, oh, 90? That's such a good, that's such a low speed. Oh, it's great. This is going to be perfect. Super special attack. This thing's going to destroy lives. Um, chicka 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 chicka. Yeah, let's hit hard. Let's hit hard. What is that? Quiet? Yeah, quiet Kyogre. I like it. Brave. Hmm. Yeah, accurate. Um, your name is Sashimi. And you have the strongest water move, I think, that exists. Huh. See, I could do this, which is slightly more accurate than Hydro Pump. But, at the same time, I don't like shaky accuracies. It makes me nervous. What I could do instead is <laughs> this one. This is an obscene amount of power. Look at that. Oh, man. Let's, let's do some math here. Let's not. Let's just look at big numbers and be impressed. This is over 400. Uh, more than 150 base. Times 1.5 because I'm crazy. This is going to... Oh, this is going to ruin people. The only problem is that i got to make sure I don't get hit. Because if I have 50%, this will only be 75 base power. Which is still going to hurt a lot. And with the rain boosted too, oh, nothing, nothing's going to live this. Nothing's going to live this. All right. It's nice because I could switch it in on that uh, fire Groudon guy. But if one switches in on me, it, it makes my water move not work. So I'll have to think of a ground move to hit it with. What ground moves do I get? I get zero ground. <laughs> I can get Mud Slap. Great. Hidden Power Ground. Um, or Earthquake. Interesting. Hmm. What's more? Hidden Power... What does Hidden Power Ground do to me? What does that mean? That means that I have to give up. No. Can't do that. Alright. Can't do that. Instead... I will run Earthquake, because that's what I can. Do. That's a thing I can do. The nice thing about this is that since I'm going negative speed, I can uh, go ahead and put four in attack. Yeah, this is gonna work out. All right, now we just gotta fill in some moves. Flamenco is fantastic. There we go. Eh, doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. All right. Cool. All right. These are all just just gods is what they are. You will be this. You will be that. And of course, there we are. Okay. Um, yeah, I think this will work out just fine. 
You have, I like these moves on you. The only problem is if someone taunts you, I'm, that's just it. <sighs> Maybe I should go U-turn instead. Yeah, I, we'll go U-turn instead. I'm less afraid of... Yeah, okay, this'll be fine. Uh, sashimi, Water Spout, Earthquake, what else? Um, Hit Opposing Kyogre, I guess, with Thunder. This is nice because it's always going to hit because it's always raining when this thing is around. And I need one more. Perhaps another water move just for when Water Spout doesn't work anymore. Or an ice move for um, dragon types, I guess. Yeah, I could do I could do one of these, I suppose. Yeah, we'll try that. We'll change it for Surf if we find that we just get hit too much and Water Spout doesn't work. This is, ooh, I could give you Wish and heal this guy. Well, let's calm down. Um, Trick Room, Roar, Draco Meteor. I could give you Stealth Rocks. That'd be fun. Purely defensive. I like it. There's not much I can do once I do this, though. And once Trick Room is up, I'd hate to lose momentum by forcing myself to switch out. Do you get Explosion? You did not get Explosion. That would have been great. <laughs> um, oh, here's is interesting. I can Dragon Tail instead of Roar. And that way, I can... Um, what would I be doing instead? I would be... Stealth rocking, I guess? Alright, sure. Let's do that. That'll be fine. I am become death. This looks good. <laughs> Lots of attack. Lots of HP. Oh, this is going to be fun. Because a lot of people run this specific set with Swords Dance Extreme Speed, but they don't invest as much as HP because they have to worry about investing in speed, and I just don't. So I'm usually going to be able to beat them one-on-one, -on -one, which is going to be nice. This works. What what don't I have yet? I don't have any fire moves yet. Do you get a fire move? You do get the fire moves. All right. Do I need fire moves? I guess for the odd... Um, the odd steel type, perhaps. We'll try it. Well, yeah, we'll try it. Flamenco, what are you going to be doing? <gasps> oh, what if I gave you... Well, never mind. Okay. What are you going to be doing, Flamenco? You need one more move. You can get Substitute, which would be nice, because uh, I'd avoid status, I guess. That's not going to make sense. Never mind. Um, I can get Fire Fang. I can get Brick Break. I can get Cry. Mm. This is rough, man. This is rough. What would come in and think that they could take me on? Paint Split. Oh, gosh. Oh, that'd be so much funny. So much fun. Hmm. Taunt. Interesting, but no. Need one more move on you. Fairy wind. No. I actually think your special attack is lower when when you turn into the crazy two-headed monster that you are. Let's try. Huh. That's now that's interesting. If hit by an attack, returns 1.5 damage. Hmm. Okay, that, now that is interesting. Immune to Earthquake? Well, it doesn't matter. The only Earthquaker here is the, the Groudon, and it'll fire move me anyway, so that's not gonna buy me any time. Hmm. Let me see. Poison, ooh! No. How about... Stockpile, Strength, Swallow... Tickle. Not tickle. Vice grip. Not vice grip. Hmm. I could go for focus punch. And that would make me laugh. Or I could We'll substitute for now. See how it works. Maybe we can dodge a hit this way. Yeah, substitute while the trick room's around, and... No, it's the opposite of what I want to do. Shoot. Um, 
Hmm. This is rough, man. Play rough. We'll do play rough. That's the strongest move I have, right? Yeah, that'll hurt. That'll hurt like crazy. Okay, I think that's the team. Right? Yes. Good. Perfect. Wonderful. Okay, let's give it a shot. I'm not I'm not great at Ubers, so we'll uh we're gonna give it a shot.